Welcome to another training session on PLC programming. I have started a new series on Mitsubishi PLC programming and and this is my old PLC programming trainer and I have learned PLC programming on this trainer board and I have used this PLC trainer board at the start of my career uh, some 10 years ago and I have learned PLC programming on it. So now I have planned to make a PLC programming tutorial series on the Mitsubishi using this trainer. In this training series we will cover basic to advanced level PLC programming and we will learn together how we can connect our digital and analog sensors and on the other side we will see how we can connect servo and the stepper drives with the Mitsubishi PLCs. And do comment in the comment section that what are the things which you guys want to learn and what are the topics related to the Mitsubishi PLCs which you want to cover in this training series. So today is the first session and in the first session we will see how we can take a backup of a running PLC. So by doing this we will be able to know what is the environment of the software and which software which we are going to use in this training and what are the tools which are required to program the Mitsubishi PLCs. So first of all, uh, we need a USB to serial converter. As you all guys know that in the modern computers, we don't have any DB9 connector available. So we need a USB to serial converter. So it will convert our USB port into a serial port. And the other thing is a Mitsubishi programming cable. So this is a homemade cable and I have made this around 8 years ago so it's still working fine. If you want to make your cable at home yourself this is the wiring diagram for the cable. You can also buy a new cable which is Mitsubishi SC09 cable. It will directly connect your PLC with your laptop and you don't need any USB to serial converter with this one. So this is our PLC first of all we will insert our one connector into the PLC and the other connector will go to the laptop via USB to serial converter. The first thing is to detect where our USB to serial converter is connected. So this means that we have to identify the COM port. So to identify we will go to the properties then to the hardware and device manager. And here if, if we expand our ports you can see that our USB to serial converter is available at COM number 6. So now we will go to the GX developer software and first we will go and click read from the PLC as we are going to read our PLC or PLC is FX PLC and as you can see in the serial port menu it is showing the COM1. So we will change the COM1 to the COM6 as our USB to serial converter is at COM6. And here we can test our connection. We just click here and it has successfully read our PLC. And it will, now we will click OK and we will select main PLC parameters and device data. And we can click execute. Yes, we want to read the PLC. Now it has started reading the memory of the PLC. Okay, just a message, just click OK. And close this. As you can see that it has loaded the PLC program in the laptop and we can scroll down and see all the rungs of the program and here we can expand our program it has only one program comments plc parameters main we can open the plc parameters and various and here various things are available to see inputs and outputs okay so these are the things which we will discuss later and just close it for now and here we can change it to the monitor mode and as you can see that it's 
we can monitor the status here it is in the run command and also while in the monitor mode it is also indicating the values of the different timers which i have used in the program okay the bits are going from low to high and high to low you can scroll it down as you can see that the y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 output okay so this is the program which is executing inside this plc and also you can see the plc is running and the leds are turning on and off so this is the basically how we can read the program from the plc we can save at any destination okay we can give it a project name and click yes okay now we have saved our pro this program in the pa in our pc and this is how we can take the backup of the Mitsubishi PLC and that's the end of the today's session and please check out my videos which I have created over the last one year on my channel and I hope you like these tutorials. That's the end of the today's session. I hope you like it and do subscribe to my channel and till next video take care and goodbye.